Hey, what's going on guys? It's Professor Fred giving you another video. This one will be on frequency distributions. For I'm actually going to do two videos. Uh, this first one here is going to actually be on ungrouped frequency distributions. Uh, the next video will be on grouped frequency distributions. Same concept, but just a slight twist. But just for this one, ungrouped frequency distributions. All right. So for this one, we're looking at the types of credit cards used. All right. And again, we're going to organize this into a frequency distribution. Okay. So for frequency distribution is just another way to organize your data and actually see, well, what your frequencies are uh, when it comes to your variables or to your categories. So well, let's kind of dive a little bit into what they are. So again, I, sp I spoke of frequencies and what is the frequency? Well, the frequency is uh, the frequency of a category is the number of times it occurs in the data set. So here's our data set here in case you haven't guessed. OK, so that's our data set here. So we're going to see how often each one occurs. OK, that's what we're going to look at now for the frequency and we're doing a frequency distribution, let's understand what a frequency, uh, frequency distribution is. So a frequency distribution is a table that presents the frequency for each category or class. All right, and I want you to make sure you keep these uh, two terms uh, together. So for each category or class, all right? So again, we're looking at the categories of well, the types of payment. In this case, we're looking at four. So we're looking at uh, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover, okay? And we're gonna just deal with just those four categories because, well, well, four, yeah, four categories because that's all we have, that's all what was given to us, okay? Um, and why are we looking at this? Well, you see how retailers, they analyze their sales data, all right, and they're determining, well, what type of payment do these uh, uh, customers that come into their stores, what do they use? Uh, do they mostly use Visa? Do they mostly use Discover? Do they mostly use uh, Amex, which is uh, American Express? You know, any one of those, MasterCard, any one of those, right? So this is what we're doing. So again, how do retailers analyze their sales data, determine which methods of payment are most popular? So that's what we're going to look at. So what would be the most popular? We don't know yet. So that's why we're going to go through the data set to find out. All right, so here we have our table here with the uh, data set of popular payments or payment methods, okay? And as you can see, the uh, except for which is uh, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. Okay, so how many of them are here that they actually tallied? Well, they looked at 50 customers. Okay, they looked at 50 customers. So we want to make sure of what our total frequency should be. So our total frequency is 50. Okay. So as we uh, find the frequencies of each one and we go back and add them all up, it should come out to the total of 50. Shouldn't be less than that, shouldn't be more than that, should be exactly 50. That way that lets us know that we have properly tallied each one, all right, and then that the number should come out the way it was initially. Okay, so here we go. Real quick and simple and easy, not hard at all. Again, we're gonna construct an ungrouped frequency distribution. Now, what does ungrouped mean? Well, simply what you're looking at is each category is like its own, right? So it's its, uh, its own category. So Visa is its own category. Amex is, is its own category. Um, Discover, MasterCard, their own, uh, its own category. Now, grouped would be something like, okay, everything between Discover and Visa, right? Everything between Amex and MasterCard, right? That would be considered grouped. All right, that's more on a numerical basis. All right, that's more on a numerical basis. So that's what they call quantitative data. So we're gonna do that again for another video. I'm gonna show you how that's done. But in this case, we don't have to worry about that. So what our categories are, okay. Whoops, categories, excuse me. Okay. All right, and I know each one, and you can write this in any order. Again, we got Visa, MasterCard, AE for American Express, and Discover. Okay, that's what we're using. Give myself a little bit of a line here so I have a little bit of a divider. Okay, and 
Now, usually when it's when you are writing this for the frequency part, I mean, some could write the whole word, but really you could just write F. That's actually understood as being frequency. That way you don't have to worry about writing that whole entire word. So when you're creating a frequency distribution, this just put F there. That's understood as frequency. People know that's, well, not gonna say people, but those that are reading your data are gonna know like, oh, okay, this is just the number of each one that has popped up. Okay, so each one. So again, I'm gonna look at all visas. I'm gonna circle them all. All right, make sure I got it in the category, okay. So I have all these, I'm just gonna circle all visa and I'm gonna go back and count each one, okay. Now you have some who like to do the tally method which is still fine, but for the sake of this video and trying to keep things kind of short, I'm just going to go back and just, you know, again, circle each one and just count the number and I'll just write the number down. All right. So I should have all visas circled. Okay. And you can always go back and do this for yourself. I would suggest practicing it so that way you could see it better. All right. So it looks like I have them all circled, none are missing, okay. And of course, if there are missing, you can always let me know in the chat, not chat, but in the comments to make sure that um, everything is the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna count each one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So I have a 23, uh, I'll have 23 total visas there in that count for the frequency. So it looks like out of the 50, 23 out of the 50 use visa. Okay, so I counted all of those. All right, so all those are done. Now, let me go back and start to count the uh, MasterCard. So I'm just going to circle all MasterCards now. Okay, so we got a MasterCard there. Okay. All right. Okay, and it looks like all the MasterCards are there. So double check to make sure I got them all. Again, you can definitely look and see for yourself. All right. So it looks like I have, and I'm gonna count them all. So one, two, three, four, all right, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so it looks like I have eleven MasterCards. Eleven. All right, so again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. So it looks like I have eleven MasterCards. Okay, so I have eleven MasterCards there. All right. So out of 50, 11 use MasterCard. Okay, going back. Now we're gonna look at American Express. All right, American Express. I'm gonna circle all those that are American Express. Okay. All right, not very many in this case. Okay. All right. So it looks like I have them all circled. Mm hmm. All right. Go back and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it looks like I have simply nine American Expresses or nine customers that used American Express. Okay. Only nine. All right. And last but not least our discover and yes we do have some that still use discover okay there's like a very small number here okay looks like I got them all yes all right so it looks like I have, what's that, one, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. And that's it.
And that's it. So I only have seven customers that use Discover. So seven out of 50. Okay. So it looks like we have our 50, but let me double check to be sure. So it looks like we have our 50 here. So of course, if you if you do like one of those, you have what's that? 23 plus 11, which is 34. 34. All right, plus nine is going to be 43. 43 plus seven is 50. All right, or you can do it the other way, which is 23 and seven, which is 30, and then 11 plus nine, which is 20, and then of course 20 and 30 is 50, like that. So it looks like we have officially and correctly uh, written down the frequency of each category. Uh, everything or every uh, number has been accounted for. Because uh, again, my total frequency matches what we got initially. So that helps out. So after that, you're done. And you can do any analysis to that. You can come up with any inferences you want. I'm um, not going to do it here because again, I'm trying to keep the video sweet. But that's really it. That's all you have to do. So for an ungrouped frequency distribution, just write down your categories, whatever they are, and just count. And that's all it is to it. All right, I hope this video helps you out in your statistical research and in your statistical knowledge. All right, as I say, practice, 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 study, study, study. Keep at it, work at it. Thanks.